When OnePlus announced the 6T last month, they claimed to have been working on an in-display fingerprint scanner for a long time and even had a prototype of it with the OnePlus 5T and the reason they claim they could not bring it till now was because it wasn't as fast as conventional fingerprint readers. With the OnePlus 6T however, they seem to have optimized the unlocking speeds and claim to unlock in as little as 0.34 seconds. While we can't vouch for the exact numbers, the newly launched Huawei Mate 20 Pro also sports an in-display fingerprint scanner, so we thought why not put the two to the test and see which one emerges as the fastest of the two. While we're at it, we also thought why not put the face unlock on these two phones to the test as well since the Mate 20 Pro has a dedicated IR illuminator and a dot matrix projector for secure face unlock, while the OnePlus 60 on the other hand has been known for blazing fast face unlock speeds. Now that we've given you a context about what is going to happen, let's start testing. Do note that the animation speeds on both these devices have been set to 1x and we haven't tinkered around with any default setting. Also, we have turned off face unlock on both devices for this part of the test. With that out of the way, let's begin with the fingerprint scanner. While both scanners seem to be equally fast, upon close inspection, we see that the OnePlus 60 manages to unlock slightly faster. Let's switch hands now to ensure a fair test and we continue to see the same results. Let's now keep both the displays on and see if that makes any difference. As you can see, the OnePlus 60 still has an edge in terms of unlocking speeds. Speaking about the placement of the scanner, the one on the Mate 20 Pro is slightly higher for my liking and the one on the OnePlus 60 is where your thumb would naturally rest while holding the device, but that's personal preference. Overall, the OnePlus 60 seems to have a slight edge with regards to the fingerprint scanner. It's also important to note that we have been testing the scanners for a while now and it is yet to reject an imprint which shows how accurate these sensors are. Let's now move on to face unlock. The Huawei Mate 20 Pro has a considerably large notch at the top of the display and that's because the device houses dedicated sensors to assist with face unlock an IR illuminator to light up your face in dark environments and a dot matrix projector to map a 3D model of your face to ensure that it is actually you who is trying to unlock your phone and not your picture. On the other hand, the OnePlus 60 relies on just the front-facing camera along with some software tweaks to facilitate face unlock. In good lighting conditions, both phones are extremely accurate and unlock as soon as I hit the power button. On the OnePlus 60, the phone takes you to the home screen directly on most times, while on a few occasions you do get to see the lock screen for a fraction of a second. On the Mate 20 Pro, however, you can see the lock screen for a split second before you take into the home screen every single time. When we slow down the footage, at first look, it might seem like the Mate 20 Pro is faster, but since it is jumping to the lock screen first, the screen lights up before it is unlocked, giving the impression that the 60 is slower. However, if we consider the process till both phones are completely unlocked, the OnePlus 60 is ever so slightly faster. Notice the recognizing the face message on the Mate 20 Pro. Let's now try with one eye closed and while the Mate 20 Pro does show some resilience, it eventually unlocks the device, while the OnePlus 60 is happy to unlock instantly. With both eyes closed, however, neither phone gets unlocked, which is nice. In fact, there is an option on the Mate 20 Pro to choose if you want your eyes to be detected before unlocking the device. It's a no-brainer that you would want to keep it on. And the funny part is it's disabled by default. Moving on to darker environments, the Mate 20 Pro, as stated earlier, comes with an IR illuminator which ensures that face unlock speeds even in low light stays equally fast. The OnePlus 60, on the other hand, does not have any such hardware and instead comes with an option to enable assistive lighting for face unlock, which basically increases the brightness of the screen to illuminate your face in darkness and then unlock the phone. This is where we see the Mate 20 Pro finally edging ahead of the OnePlus 60 thanks to the dedicated electronics at the top. The OnePlus 60 takes a fraction of a second extra to light up the screen, which delays it ever so slightly when compared to the Mate 20 Pro. The OnePlus 60 seems to be the clear winner here in terms of raw speed of the fingerprint scanner and face unlock, 
but that does not mean that the Mate 20 Pro is slow. The OnePlus 60 is faster only by a few milliseconds and in day-to-day -day usage, unless you compare them side by side, you won't be able to tell them apart. However, the Mate 20 Pro adds an extra layer of security for face unlock, so do keep in mind that the extra security may be worth a few extra milliseconds of unlocking time. I hope you like this slightly different comparison video and do let us know if you wish to see more such videos and until next time, may the tech be with you.